Hello and welcome to Expo Hub. Myself Rakesh. Today I'll be showing you the vv.net method, string.split and the string.join methods. Okay, in case this video is helping you, please do like and subscribe the channel and share among with your friends. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use an assign activity. And here in the assign activity, let me pull the directory path. For that, I'll be using control K. Okay, and then type the name. All right. Now, how will you pull a directory path? So, environment dot current directory. Done. Only thing you ensure the directory path variable can be generic, but keep it as string. Done. Now, let's drop and message box. and type the variable so with a simple demo we can see the entire directory okay then we will split them and then join it so now you can see everything is so this project is currently there inside uipath folder and the project name is split methods right you can see c drive uses user document so this is the entire path okay now the next thing I am going to do I am going to create a variable again sorry control k you do and then give a name so I am giving split folder here I'm going to write the code so now the entire path is there in directory path path dot split let me show you now in the bigger screen I'll click here value this is where you have to enter so what I've done take the variable whatever the variable you have declared variable name dot split and then there are multiple ways okay I'll show you that so first way is you put a bracket double bracket okay and then within that double quote and this one is separated by the backwards slash and you can type C this is one method I'll show you all I will show it again okay don't worry now split folder because it has got multiple C drive user so it's supposed to be an array because there are multiple values string type okay now let me drag a message box I'll drag it to the bottom and here I will say split folder now what will happen if I simply say split folder this is an array right so in a message box if you simply write split folder what is happening we will see let me run it so now it has shown the entire path okay this is coming from this message box right okay now this is showing the entire path if I click on okay the second message box is failing it's not showing me anything right so for that I'll be using so let me copy the formulas that I have used okay so the first one I have used is environment dot current directory okay this is to pull the directory okay okay now second one there are multiple methods to split string so what I have used this is one method I am going to teach other methods too okay so this is your remember this is your variable and dot split this is one of the syntax okay 
now i'll show you the second syntax i'll show you the third syntax okay three different syntax i'll show you now the next thing is split right split string so how to do the split string let me show you that so right now the message box was not pulling so what i will do i will write a method called string dot join so that's supposed to be join okay so now join what i will do i want to join so there are multiple folders so i'll give a environment dot new line comma and that is there in the array split folder okay so now let me run this then i will explain so there are two message boxes okay so the first message box is showing all the folders click okay and the second one is showing us in the all different folders okay c drive uses user documents ui path split method so these are the different folders which were there inside this array and everything is populated through the string dot join method so let me explain this so i'll copy it okay so what is what this one is doing string dot join is your method okay this is the syntax now what is environment dot new line is now all that entire path it is going to show one by one by one okay in the new line showing in the new line right so everything and the split folder is your array so from this array whatever data is there it's going to show you one by one so i'll show you another method okay let's say i want to give a comma rather than a space so if i have to give a comma what i will do i'll remove environment dot new line okay and here i am going to give a comma space and then write this so what will happen by this let's run it again okay this is the first message box showing the entire directory and then there's the second one you can see there's a comma uses comma user comma documents comma so it is splitting in this way if you don't want that you can do the environment dot new line it can show you one by one so let me copy this also and show it to you so this is another way of getting the entire array okay this is your second way string dot join one this is your second way i have shown okay so these are your two syntaxes and this is your array this is your array okay split folder is our array that in our example now i was talking about the split string right there are multiple ways so let me show you that i'll go back this is where i have split right this is where the entire directory path i am i am splitting it so i have written the directory path dot split okay so there is another way instead of dot split so this is your gen general command inside that you will write c c h a r change to character so then put a double quote okay remember the syntax and then within that i'll use a double quote and then write so minus backslash right so this is another format okay let me copy this and put it in the notepad so you can see it and compare so what i am doing this is my first method directory path dot split sli and this is the second method c change character and then i can use this you know this is my second method okay now let me run this and show you if this is working or not okay this is our entire directory and now it's going to split it here split folder okay now you can see it has split it using the comma so even this method is working so now i'll show you a third method okay the third method is so here my general one and here i am going to say
this is my separator dot to character array because this is array format right so this is another third method let me copy this so you have learned different syntaxes right so directory dot path is our variable dot split dot to character array okay this is another method so let me run it and i'll show you that notepad once again so you can make a note okay this is my first message box showing you the entire directory and the second message box is showing you the all the with a comma if you don't like comma then write environment dot new line i showed you that right so you can show one by one with a new line okay so this is the code guys you can make a note all right so thank you for watching uh, please re-watch this video in case you want to learn again uh, and please do subscribe and like this channel after you watch and get some benefit and i'm going to upload more new interesting videos thank you for watching have a wonderful day